till now we have created our table and also for that we have written our html code now in this section we are going to see the scenario what we are going to build and from which table we are going to get the data and what will be the scenario if the data is already inserted inside cart so as of now in our shopping cart database we are having two tables products table and cart table and for every products we are having add to cart button so whenever i click on this add to cart button the data or the product will be inserted inside this cart table the data is not inserted inside this products table the data will be inserted inside this cart table and inside this products table we are having all the products which are present in our shop suppose if i am having headphone laptop whatever it is all the products will be available inside this products table but inside this cart table whenever i click on add to cart button only those products will be inserted so there is a difference between table and different data will be stored inside this table from products table itself we are going to store the data inside the cart table but whenever we click on this add to cart only those products will be stored inside this cart table now suppose imagine i am having three products and first product i have already inserted inside the cart and these three products are available inside my products table now only the first product i have clicked and that product is added inside the cart table so again when i just try to click on this added product add to cart button i should be getting this message product already added and this data should not be inserted again inside the cart table only once the data should be inserted inside the cart table later when i click on this add to cart i should be getting error or pop up saying product is already added you can add another product some kind of message i should be getting i should not be adding duplicate data inside cart because our cart will be storing unique data later on when we click on checkout we can do the payments and everything so this is the cart page this is the scenario we are going to build product table will be holding all the products and inside cart table only those products are inserted which are clicked as add to cart so this is the scenario we are going to construct this scenario understanding this scenario is very important because this is the exact same thing we are going to do in our code so from next session we are going to start step by step process regarding this and we will be constructing our entire cart session